I don't know. We might have a shot. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I am hitting up an estate sale today. I saw an estate sale on my garage sale app that said they were selling vintage toys from the 70s. And one of the figures that they had in the pictures was a $6 million man. How cool is that? They also had some big gym figures and some other stuff. So I am super excited for this. I hope you're excited too. We're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray, 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 pray that the vintage estate sale gods are good to me today. I don't know. We might have a shot. Cell phone keychains. They're like uh, Power Rangers cell phone keys. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of them in there. I only want 20 bucks for the bag. accessories in here.
thing Lego Daily Bugle holy cow that's awesome I want 200 bucks for it though I don't know what it's worth I'm gonna look it up oh man guys we missed the million dollar man by inches so the uh the black guy that was in the front of the line I don't know if you saw him in the video earlier when I was filming the crowd he got in there first and uh, it was funny. He had the million dollar man and then he had somebody else in his hand, a girl, I think, a girl doll uh, that I think went along with the million dollar man. And uh, these big gym figures and stuff were sitting on the table and there was this uh, big gym like Indian figure. There we go. Uh, it was like an Indian figure and I just reached in and grabbed it. And he literally has the balls to say, whoa, man. And I was like, dude, they're on the table. And he's like, hmm. And uh, it's like he was hovering above all of them. Like they all belong to him. And like you have to wait your turn to see them. It's like, no, dude, this is an estate sale. It is a free for all. So get the hell out of my way because I want to get me some big gym figures. So, but uh, kind of bummed on the million dollar man they wanted fifty dollars for him which i think is about what he goes for on ebay so a lot of the prices in there were priced at ebay prices but i felt like i got a good deal on some of this stuff and they did have other things like uh i didn't pick up the uh the keychains or the the keys i'm sorry the power rangers keys i could have pro i mean i think they wanted like 20 bucks for the bag if i remember and they probably would have gotten i could have gotten maybe like 40 or 50 out of that if I wanted to list it and sell it but I'm like really not in like in re I'm not really reselling right now I'm just kind of collecting so I got me some big gym figures we'll head back to the house in a little bit and do a little show and tell with them and I got some accessories so I got a bag of big gym accessories as well this is my these are my first big gym action figures don't own any but now I do all right, guys, up next, uh, we'll either hit up another yard sale or we're going to hit up a thrift store. I don't know what we're doing yet, but wherever I end up, I will see you there. Well, presto, change -o. I'm in a different outfit because it's the next day. I didn't have time to go hit up more thrift stores the way I wanted to after that estate sale. So here we are the very next day. So we're at the Goody Will, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? 
So we're gonna head in here. Afterwards, we'll go hit up the thrift store across the street. Um, that's where uh, we found that big Ghostbusters lot. Well, my friend Sean found it. I picked up the scraps from it. But uh, Thrifter Sean, he's always getting the good scores. But yeah, we'll check that out and then probably hit up a couple more places today too. Let's see what they got in here. Oh yeah, hey, you know, we gotta keep our fingers crossed because we switched gears from estate sales to thrift store. So we gotta keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, well, we got a lot of toys on the shelf and a lot of plush. Now the question is, is there anything in here good <laughs> or is it all junk? Animal Planet vehicle. Be like a Minecraft sword, I guess. We got a spider plane up here. Wrist, Candyland. Some sort of. I don't know what kind of helmet that is. I was gonna say a fireman's helmet, but I don't think that's a fireman's helmet. We got the tail of a dragon. Hmm. What's this? Is this like Dr. Pimple Popper? <laughs> I think it is. It's something like that. That's crazy. Battleship. What's this, What's this police car? Is this anything good? Anything vintage? No. That is a crazy looking thing. What are all, the, what are all these crazy things in here today? <laughs> seeing nothing how about over here in plushville this looks like some sort of ape maybe oh yeah it's like a silverback gorilla look at this what's it say u.s air force bear this over here Let's see if we can get this guy out oh, four dollars and four cents cd player and a tape deck doesn't seem like a bad price for something like that this thing's pretty cool too bad it doesn't have the head unless it's on the table here somewhere hmm you know what that is it's a stand for like your halloween bucket like you have your pumpkin your pumpkin bucket you set it on top of that that is kind of cool i've got a pumpkin bucket at the house and this would be awesome for it and it's only a dollar 91 so i'm gonna grab it oh, check this thing out five dollars and 95 cents i wonder if it even works that is kind of neat it just definitely needs some cleaning up and this is all warped right here oh it plays eight tracks too no way all right so i picked it up so at the end of today's episode we'll go home and put the pumpkin basket the halloween bucket on top and see what he looks like how's that sound all right up next the thrift store baby all right my friends we are here we're at the thrift store yeah baby all right so we're gonna head in here and maybe we'll score some vintage toys. how cool would it be if there was like more of that ghostbusters lot that came out or you know, or some other vintage 80s or 90s toys that had just been sitting in the back, you know? That's the thing, you just, you never know, you never know. And that's why you check every day because you never know what the shelves behold. Let's see what we can do. We got some infinity pieces, it looks like. Oh, there's a Ouija board. Spooky. Maybe some Shopkins. All right, let's go see what we can find in the bags. We'll check out this FC Dallas soccer ball. Little Pikachu plush. This kind of looks like a stumpy, fat Scooby-Doo. Hey, it's our boy Bugs. A bunch of little binoculars. Oh, I kind of like that little eagle. It's like a little bendy fig or something. Look at that crazy eyed Donald Duck. Little Joker car. There's a Batman. 
Well, that was kind of a quick trip. There wasn't a whole lot in there. So, hmm, what shall we hit up next? I'm not real sure, uh, but wherever I end up, I will see you there. All right, gang, we're at another Goody Wheel. Yeah! What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, let's see what this one can produce. What are we doing? <laughs> There's a monkey. Look at this thing. This thing is still here. This ugly ass unibrow what the hell the thing is gross <laughs> what's this octopus sprinkler oh that's fun got a little hot wheels car fire truck made by hess and we got our crocodile what's this there's some sort of teddy bear we got a kitty cat that one looks like it yeah it, it's battery operated we got a grave digger, a red dragon with a missing wing, just a bunch of junk. How about over here in Plushville? Is it Rudolph? What's this, like a lobster? Clyde? Clyde the lobster? Oh, the nightmare before Christmas. Oh, I thought that was a VHS case. Oh, it's just made to look like a VHS case, but it's a notepad. Oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd struck gold. Yeah, it's just made to look like a VHS case. That's cool. You know, I've seen Darth Vader, I've seen Stormtroopers, I've seen R2-D2, but I don't think I've ever seen a Chewbacca mug. Well, that was another bust, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to go hit up Texas Thrift over in Garland. And then we'll probably hit up Thrift Thrift Shitty on this side of town as well, over in Richardson. Not that those towns mean anything to you. That's just where they're located, you know. We're like, Burf, I don't care the name of the town. Just take me to the vintage toys. All right, let's head that way. All right, kids. We're here. At Big Texas Thrift, Garland. All right, so we're gonna head in here. Hopefully, we find some good stuff today. Well, let's see what we can find. Holy cow, this thing is still here. It looks like some people have stolen some stuff out of it, though. But uh, yeah, this has been here for like two months or something. Whoa, jeez. The heck. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Hey, it's spirit. Little Mickey Mouse Club Mickey, Club 28. Not really seeing a whole lot on these shelves, guys. What's this thing? Hmm. I guess it's kind of like a bow and arrow or something. Hey, what's this guy here? Oh, dang. It's like a Stretch Armstrong. That thing is pretty freaking cool. The only thing though, he's got this hole in his chest, but still, I think I'm gonna grab him. Hey, look at this little Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, he even talks. He's got a little battery pack. Hey, who the heck is this person? This looks vintage as well. It definitely talks. It's got a battery pack in it. I don't know who that is though. All right, so it turns out this is Stretch Armstrong's arch nemesis, Vac Man. I'm making a, trying to make a decision on him though. So he sells for about 20 to 25 bucks. Um, but he's got this hole right here and then he's got this hole in the back. Like someone had like shoved a pin or something through him. But uh, some of these little beads have been falling out of here. So I'm not so sure I wanna get him. But man, look at that face. It's awesome. I don't know if he's worth eight bucks, you know, being that he's kind of got these holes in there. All right, I'll figure it out by the time I leave the store. In the meantime, let's rummage through these bags. Oh, look at this. I think this is the same four-wheeler that I gave to my buddy Clutch so that he could customize it into like a, like a GI Joe or a Cobra vehicle. $100. Hmm, might grab that. 
Oh, looks like we've got some action figures in there. Oh, that is a Toonie Terror. My Bloody Valentine. Five bucks for the bag. I've got him in the box, but it's kind of nice that he's loose. There's an Iron Man in there. And then whoever this dude is. Plus we got this Imagine Next, like Ant-Man or something. Hmm. Or maybe that's the Wasp. I don't know. We got a Superman in here, what looks like some sort of gorilla, Ryan's World stuff. We got a Dora the Explorer and maybe like a, some sort of Christmas outfit, maybe? That's that red and green and white. Oh, there's a Santa. Hey, and there's some Chippendale Rescue Rangers. All right, well, they didn't have a whole lot in there today. I ended up putting the, uh, the Stretch Armstrong, the Vac Man back. If it were vintage, I would have kept it, but it was from 2017 and it had that hole in it. And I just didn't want that. But I ended up picking this thing up. So let's take a little closer look at it. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is from Halo and this is a pretty badass looking machine. So I'd picked up one of these one other time and I gave it to my friend Patrick, who I call Clutch, cause he's always coming in clutch for me. Um, I gave it to him because he said that uh, he could customize it into like a Cobra vehicle or something like that. So Patrick, if you're watching and you want this one as well, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. If you don't want it, let me know. I'll, I'll keep it and maybe try to do something myself with it. But uh, he makes some pretty amazing customs, that guy. Uh, I... Uh, I watched him. Uh, he showed me some pictures of a uh, of a dollhouse that he customized. It was amazing, but and he made it made it into like a spooky haunted house and stuff. It was really cool. But yeah. So anyway, Patrick, if you want this, just reach out to me. All right. Up next, we head off to Thrift Shitty, baby. All right. We're here. Now let's go in there and see what kind of damage we can do. Oh, what we got here? Oh, we got a droid kit. I bought one of these before and it ended up missing a few pieces. Let's see, what else do we got? We got a Nintendo Wii. There's another one. What's over here? Something baseball. Got a flute. All right, let's go check the toy section. Oh, look at this dude. For a rainy day. That is an old bank. What do they want for that? Six bucks? Hmm. Let me check into that. Well, I checked him out. First of all, I think he's got some coinage in there or something. But uh, he's from 1971. And he sells for between 8 and $12, roughly. They want $6 for him, so I think I'm going to pass on him. But he's kind of neat. Okay, now their toy section is usually pretty small. But they have a decent sized board game section, which we'll check out here in a few minutes. What's this? Oh, nothing. Let's see what's around the other side over here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing over here, too. Oh, there's a guy. Looks like he's got a bottle of shit. <laughs> All right, that was a close one. I'm like a damn bull in a china shop. Well, let's see if we can find any vintage board games. Oh, here's a bingo with genuine wood counters. Nice. Got some puzzles. Yeah, I think we're gonna get busted on games too. All right, well, we just got busted in there too. So I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go hit up this place called Thrift Town. See what kind of goodies they got. All right, Thrift Town. Thrift Town. 
I hear the sound of vintage toys coming from inside your store. So, all right, let's go in there and see if we can score something. What do we got here? Some sort of Mickey Mouse. He's missing his ears though. Whoa, what's this thing? It's missing this front part right here, but what the heck is that? That's gotta be something from like Buzz Lightyear or something, huh? Yeah, Disney 2021. That's kind of cool. Not for me though. Star Wars board game. Two exclusive action figures, but I bet they're missing. Yep. Definitely missing. Yeah, we got a little Wonder Woman in her lasso. What is this? Oh, it's a Hot Wheels thing. Oh, hey now. What do we got over here? That is a cool Hulk. And what's even cooler is that his arms are made out of rubber. Wow, if he works, he's selling for between 30 and $36. And we can get him for four bucks. I'm definitely picking him up. And we got some vintage 80s in the house. We got some definitely dinosaurs. Oh, that's awesome. And looks like we got a Cabbage Patch Kid over here too. He's even got his shoes on. What are they asking for him? $10. Yeah, should be more like $4.99. Their baggy section is always weak. I've never found anything in the bags. We got some sort of... Oh, that's a Final Faction figure. And we got some smalls in here. Sonic figures. We got some army tanks over here little army guy he's kind of neat if i already didn't have this movie i'd pick it up but they got goonies here they also got last crusade and i was looking to see if they had anything else mm, there's caddyshack i got that too though i did see this over here kind of like those laser disc things mash it's awesome we used to have one of these players when i was a kid you'd slide these big discs in there and watch movies instead of having a vcr with a vhs you would uh watch movies with this well the movie was on this you had to have the player for it but yeah brings back some nostalgic memories check this out Somebody recorded the last three hours of ER, season 15, 2009. They recorded that on a VHS in 2009. All right, well, we scored one of my favorite dinosaur lines, definitely dinosaurs from 1987. And we got a Hulk, so let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. How cool is he? See, you know it's definitely dinosaurs by this little logo right here. It's a circle with a brontosaurus inside of it. So if you ever see one of those, it's a definitely dinosaur. Now, these things aren't worth a tremendous amount of money. Some of them are. Some of them are actually worth a good bit of money. But this one here, I actually have this one, but he is not, uh, he's more faded out in his color. So this will be nice to add this one to the collection. I'll have two of them now. And uh, a lot of times these dinosaurs came with like little saddles and stuff. So the cavesters could actually ride them and sit on them and stuff like that. I don't remember if this one had a saddle or not, but still really cool. And we scored some vintage 80s toys. And then we picked up the Red Hawk. Holy cow, this guy is awesome. I'll probably do a little paint job on him up here to get those red highlights out or maybe i'll leave them in there i don't know i kind of like the red highlights but his uh arms are made out of rubber he's like a smashing hulk he's got this uh you know articulation here and his he's doing ab crunches uh, uh, one two three four a thousand a thousand one a thousand two <laughs> so um got him for four bucks i don't know if he works but if he works in this condition, he's probably worth about 20 bucks, even though they're selling between like 30 and $36. He's got a little paint wear on him here. So, uh, but yeah, I'm excited to be adding him to the collection too. 
All right, gang, let's head back to the bunker and let's grab that pumpkin bucket, that Halloween bucket, and put it on top of this Frankenstein looking dude and get a little look-see and what he looks like. I'm excited to see this. All right, gang, we're back at the bunker. Now it's time for a little show and tell. All right, first up, let's take a look at old pumpkin head here. So how cool is that? I've got my vintage pumpkin Halloween bucket and it sits right on top of this Frankenstein looking thing. And uh, I think that looks really awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. Now, I also picked up some stuff from the estate sale that we didn't do a show and tell with earlier. So let me show you what I picked up from there. I picked up these big gym figures for $10 each. And uh, I turned this guy here into uh, Big Jim San Francisco, <laughs> you know, because they got a pretty bad homeless population there so I put the pot on his head and he's got like this parka this camouflage parka it kind of reminded me of a homeless person but this big gym here kind of reminds me of uh somebody from the outback you know but check that out he's got an axe I actually picked up a bag of accessories but I don't know where I put it at the moment guys so um but I did pick up that's where I got the parka and the pot from and the axe and all that stuff there and the knife that he's holding. I picked up a bag of, I got the whole bag for 10 bucks as well. So it was like 30 bucks out the door for these figures. But these are my very first big gym figures. How cool are they? Kind of reminds me of a cross between like Crocodile Dundee and uh, Indiana Jones. So, but yeah, super happy with those guys. Well, hey, that concludes this episode. I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had fun making it. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. You know, we, we picked up some fun stuff today. We didn't get the million dollar man, the six million dollar man, but you know what? That's okay because we lived the thrift another day and who knows, maybe we'll find them in a thrift store at some point. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.